It sure is a great day to be out wheeling in the woods. You know, there's a lot of mechanical magic built into these rock crawlers, and one feature that our viewers are especially curious about is rear steering. Today in our Take It to the Shop segment, Joe's going to enlighten us on this rear steering marvel. Thanks, Bree. Today I'm here with the rear steer expert, Chad Molitor. He put rear steering on one of his rigs over 10 years ago. He's been perfecting it ever since. Some of us are good enough without it, but it seems to really help Chad. Yes, it does help, Joe, and that's why I'm always waiting for you guys to catch up. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, you are one of the best drivers out there. So if rear steering is part of the equation that helps me get to the top of the hill first, then I want it on my rig. Now, pay attention, buddy. You might just learn something today. Rear steering technology consists of five primary components the hydraulic pump, the solenoids, the hydraulic hoses, the hydraulic ram, and the rear steering axle itself. On this rig, Chad used a high performance system from PSC. The hydraulic pump has enough pressure and volume to run both front and rear axles at the same time. The two solenoids are operated by a three position switch within reach of the driver. When one of these solenoids is energized, it opens the flow of pressurized fluid to either lengthen or shorten the hydraulic cylinder, which is connected to the tie rod, thereby turning the rear wheels left or right. The axle itself has to be able to withstand the torture of over 400 horsepower and the weight of the vehicle bouncing up and down. It's usually not the straight line force that breaks the axles. The problem comes when the vehicle bounces up in the air and then comes down hard and finds extra traction. All that rotating power has nowhere to go and something's gotta give. Add this to the fact that at any given time, the rear wheels may be turned left or right and that multiplies the force on the axle shaft U-joints. That's the reason Chad's Sunray axle uses large 1480 Spicer joints. Rear steering consistently helps Chad go further and faster, and more drivers are starting to utilize this high-tech and dynamically solid solution to four-wheeling. Okay, Bree, this big black thing here is the rear tire. This is a hydraulic Stop ram. messing with me, Joe. I'm not blonde. Did you know this is an AN10 fitting connected to a hydraulic hose with a 3,000 PSI burst strength? And we could go on and on. But hey, let's get back to the competition at Gray Rock. Mm -hmm. 